Hey you guys, Corinne Musser of Mucking Fussy here today to show you how to get this peppermint swirl water marble for the holidays. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so to start out, you're gonna to need to grab yourself a cup of room temperature filtered water. I like to use this um, kind of smaller cup. It's a three ounce plastic cup that I got at Walmart. Um, but you know, if you have like a shot glass or a uh, plastic Tupperware that's kind of small, that works good too. So the colors I'm using today are um, LVX's Phantom, which is this white, and then OPI's Red Hot Rio. So the uh, thing about this design that's a little di bit difficult that you might find is finding a combination of white and red that doesn't bleed into one another like that makes a pink you know so it took me a few minutes but I finally figured it out you know I used my handy dandy uh, swatch stick to do it and grabbed together a bunch of my reds and whites and these were the two that worked seemed to work the best for to my liking so I'm just gonna keep going here with my colors I apologize my white is a little bit older but it is still working pretty well so, got our nice rings here. I'm just gonna drop one tiny little bit more of the red. The reason why I'm doing a tiny bit is because this red pushes it pushes out really easily. See that right there? So I didn't want it to push out too far, you know? All right, so now grab your uh, tool or whatever you wanna use and go from, we're gonna be making a star. So you go from the middle out few times we're making a six pointed star make sure to wipe off your uh, tool every time you know because you don't want the polish on it to interfere with the design so now we're going to go in word on this a little bit and so pretty much you know this is just getting it set up to make the spiral design the more you do this, the more uh, kind of spirally and crazy it's going to look. So I'm just going to keep going here once more. And I'm, as you can see, I'm dipping in every time too to kind of clean up in the middle and make sure it's nice. So now before it gets too dry, you're going to want to go from start from the outside and kind of make a nice swirl. And... I don't want it to make a spiral, so I'm not going to go keep going here. I'm just going to kind of stop right about there. And that'll be good because that looks a little bit more pepperminty than if I kept going. So now with your prepped finger that uh, has two pieces of tape on it and one coat of white, find the area you want to dip your finger and line that up and dip. Let's see, right about there. So now after you do this, grab a stick, another stick, and pick up all the polish from the top of the water. <sighs> this makes it so that your design doesn't get all nasty with that polish. So if you ever see you have like a bubble in between your nail and the cuticle that isn't popped, you can go down into the water and pop it kind of, but this one's not gonna interfere with my design. So yeah, there you go. Now I'm just gonna clean it up. Okay, now that I'm done cleaning up, I'm just going to put a little bit of sparkle on top of it uh, using Lacquer Lusts. I like it on top, little top coat thing. You can use uh, any sparkly thing that you have, you know, uh, whatever works. Okay, now that that's fully dry, I'm going to uh, seal it all in with HK Girls uh, Glistening Glow Top Coat, or sorry, Glistening Glow HK Girls Top Coat. So, you know, I didn't, this isn't uh, my most perfect design. I'm actually in between my last uh, semester 
uh, finals right now. Um, but it looks really, really cute. Um, I just wanted to show you guys how to get it for the holidays. Uh, works perfectly for, for you know, fitting with peppermint swirls. And I just, I love the swirly uh, water marble. It really is so mesmerizing and pretty. Well, you guys, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this tutorial. And if you want to see any of my other videos, feel free to subscribe. Thanks so much. Happy holidays. Bye.